Poland to buy 1,000 K2 tanks and wants to create the strongest land army in Europe. Here's a summary of the article. The Polish Ministry of National Defense plans to buy 1,000 K2 tanks from South Korea for its army. The ministry wants to create the strongest land army in Europe and pays great attention to arming armored units with tanks. The first ones are already in service with the Polish army. According to Blaszczak, the country aims to maximize the involvement of the Polish defense industry, so the authorities expect the first K2 air to enter the army in 2026. This is a landmark strengthening of our defense potential. We are building the strongest land army in Europe, Blaszczak said. Poland intends to increase the size of its 175,000 strong army, strengthen air defense and meet the army's ammunition needs. The K2 is a South Korean tank, equipped with extremely high running qualities, that weighs much less than its Western counterparts, only 55 tons. This post received a score of 4,600, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. WWIII. Poland's Revenge. Waiting for the R. Poland Ball memes. Swollen Ball. Possibly stupid question, but why so many tanks? If there's one thing we've learned so far, it's armored vehicles are sitting ducks in the modern battlefield. If anything, they're a great way to lose a bunch of soldiers at once. Even 4.5 generation fighter jets aren't particularly effective from what I can tell. I feel like the next 10 years of US Poland diplomacy is going to be no Poland, you may not conquer Russia. No, not Belarus either. European Texas is ready to go and has receipts for the past 70 or so years. 200. Need to put some wings on the back of those tanks for the real call back. Cue up the sabaton. Then the winged hussars arrived. Coming down the mountainside. J A N I S S A R E S. Are you ready to die? This is news from last year, you all know that, right? Yes, but it's election year and this stuff works well with the Pies audience. They have every reason to talk lots about it again and again even better. Parade the smaller amounts of stuff actually delivered around and talk about options of 1000s of tanks as if they are show buys it's an efficient campaign for a party running so much on security issues like Pies. They're also holding referendums on the same day as the elections. These referendums are nothing more than reminding people what pies are doing. I hate this government, but I'm not going to lie, it's quite clever. The two referendums are, do you want us to allow millions of illegal immigrants into the country? And, do you want us to raise the retirement age to what the EU wants? Like, first, those two things don't require a referendum, and won't even get the country in trouble if they decline. Good. So Kremlin can think twice about using their mercenaries or proxy nations to mess with Poland. I think Poland at this point is just waiting for Wagner and Belarus to fuck around so that Poland can show them the, and find out, exit door. Great idea Poland. I play Axis and Allies and I always load up Poland with tanks and anti-aircraft. While it's perfectly legitimate to want to build a strong army, is it reasonable to make it the strongest in Europe? Poland is still a relatively poor country that's receiving generous EU subsidies. I wonder how those can be justified if the government splurges on a world-class military. Not strongest army, strongest land army. It makes sense actually. NATO doctrine is about air superiority so you see that land forces have been mostly neglected. The current war in Ukraine shows that having a solid land army with armored units is still important, especially if you are fighting Russia. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.